I'm Ronald Milne, I'm Associate Chief Librarian for Research Collections in the Alexander Turnbull Library. We collect all sorts of original material and published material that illustrates the history and culture of New Zealand from its earliest settlement. Those treasures that connect every New Zealander with their past, whether they're text, picture or sound. Libraries like ours are very often built on a foundation collection. When Alexander Turnbull died in 1918, he bequeathed his great collection to the New Zealand nation. Alexander Turnbull collected anything he possibly could which documented New Zealand's history and, and culture. One of the wonderful things that came with that collection was a book written by hand in 1777 by somebody called William Bailey, who was an astronomer on Captain James Cook's third voyage to this part of the world. He tells us what the weather was like on a particular day at a particular hour. As an astronomer, of course, he had uh, astronomical observations, uh, but he also kept a sort of diary as well, and that's all in one very interesting volume. February the 9th, 1777, on discovery in the South Seas. At 11, the Indians came on board in three large canoes. They seemed to hesitate some time and halted at a distance, waving a white cloth as a signal of peace which was answered by us. Well, the Alexander Turnbull Library is uh, New Zealand's premier research library. We have very many original sources, and it's always important for those writing history to go back to the original. What we're also doing is making this material available on the internet. We have uh, a very extensive digitization program so that you don't necessarily have to come to Wellington to see these wonderful things. One of the treasures of our library is a printed book, the first book printed in Antarctica. That was in 1908-1909. Of course, New Zealand has a very close connection with Antarctica. New Zealand was where explorers left to try to reach the South Pole, and Ernest Shackleton was one of those. In his 1908-1909 expedition, one where he tried to reach the South Pole, a long and arduous journey, uh, he tried to keep his men occupied during these very long winter nights, and one way that he did that was to have them write and print a book. It has all sorts of things in it, stories, drawings, poems, and it's really one of the most fascinating books that I've ever seen. Can you imagine taking a printing press to Antarctica just to keep yourself amused? One of the interesting things about it is that the binding is made from old packing cases. And uh, if, we have a, if we have a close look, you can see that this particular packing case contains soup, Julian soup. Now, we know that uh, other research libraries uh, hold copies. There's one for baked beans. There's one for other sorts of soup. Um, so they really did make use of what they had in that very desolate place. One of the other very interesting items that came with Turnbull's original collection was a book of tapa cloth collected over the course of Captain James Cook's three voyages to this part of the world. Uh, in it uh, is a description of how, how tapa cloth is made and very unusually and rarely there are examples of different types of tapa cloth pasted in to pages of the book. The thing that struck me when I came here was a very specific focus on New Zealand and Pacific publications. The library does collect material from overseas, but generally speaking, that material relates very closely to New Zealand's history and culture. I think the Alexander Turnbull Library is just a, a fantastic place to work. I feel privileged to be working there with these fabulous research collections, these original sources. These are the stuff of history. These are the, this is the sort of material that people go back to to establish what New Zealand is as a nation, to learn about how it's developed and how its culture has evolved. It's a fantastic library. We have wonderful staff. They're all really passionate about what we do. And I'm very proud to be here.